In this video, we're going to talk about the upcoming Sony PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X drops for the week of January 3rd through the 9th. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to get the console that you want. We're going to talk about the upcoming drops that we think for the week of the 2nd, uh, I think through the 8th. And, uh, you know, what, what is likely to go on? Uh, I think I really do expect a Monday starting the 4th uh, to be a lot, uh, actually the week of the 3rd through the 9th. I expect the 4th to be a lot busier than the weekend that preceded it. Uh, but we don't have any confirmation and we also don't have anything probable except for PlayStation Direct probable to drop at least once in the next week, just because that's their pattern. Uh, but all the other retailers, uh, and if we look at the big five, and I would say that would be PlayStation Direct, GameStop, Best Buy, uh, and Target and Walmart. Uh, Target, we don't see a lot of activity uh, from, we it, prior to the, the last several drops, we have seen a lot of activity of people finding stock in their target. Uh, before they banned my for, store for spot, we would see that. Um, in the last two drops, we've been relying on in-store target scanners and an occasional employee scanner picture. And we're not getting a lot of in-store scanner pictures right now. Maybe we will in the coming days and we can update our expectations for a target drop. But right now, last week, you know, uh, when we were, I think we had a Monday drop last week, we had a lot of activity on the Saturday and Sunday and even the Friday leading into that, right? We had a lot of evidence. We don't have a lot of evidence. I think I've seen one kind of target picture, maybe two from those in-store scanners. Uh, and they didn't say on hand, they said in the back. So I think that's indicating to me that they're not, they've are not they not even been scanned into the system or anything. So uh, that, and possibly those are pickup orders. I have, so I don't think that are already spoken for. Uh, so I don't think Target is really something that we can say is likely for next week until we get more information. And then Walmart, I'm going to show you the Walmart. Uh, their last was 1217 was their last drop. And a big chunk of those orders, over 40% of those orders, if you add up 30% of uh, 63, that's, that's over 40%. Uh, and then have not been shipped. So if Walmart hasn't shipped their prior orders of the PS5, that seems unlikely they're going to have another drop of the PS5. It doesn't preclude it, but it makes it a lot less likely. And then if we look at Best Buy and GameStop, though, most of those orders have been either Best Buy only does in-store pickup. GameStop ships their, their online orders, and, and actually their last in-store wave was also uh, shipped, I think. Most of those have been shipped or delivered. And so it seems like GameStop and Best Buy are kind of primed to go, right? So here's the here's the uh, Best Buy, and then there's the GameStop. So I, I think that's just something that we're going to keep in mind. We don't have a day. We don't have a time. But those, those companies seem more likely to drop. The other thing is like Target, not last week, but the week before, Target did uh, have the Xbox Series X in its weekly ad. Target has a weekly ad. Uh, there's been nothing in the last, this upcoming week ad of the 3rd through the 9th. So uh, I think that's, you know, that's problematic. And, you know, I thought it was really interesting that, you know, how much work my followers have put into this, that, you know, most of them say that they have uh, set up four uh, to even more than 10 
new accounts with retailers in an attempt to get a PS5. So I think that that's a good indication of the amount of seriousness somebody puts into it. And a lot of people have put a lot of work into trying to secure a PS5 or Xbox Series X. And uh, I think this was for the PS5, but, uh, you know, there's just a shortage. And uh, the, I think the shortage is, is not getting much better. I think it's, uh, we had kind of a glimmer of hope, I mean, after the Target drop, I think, uh, that, you know, maybe the Xbox Series X is going to drop in price, uh, and maybe even before the holiday, I think it, I, maybe the prices were the best for the Xbox Series X right before the holiday, before Christmas, uh, that they were as low as 620 uh, for the Xbox Series X on StockX. And I like StockX because it has transparent pricing. From th These are scalp, scalp consoles, essentially. So they're reselling consoles. But, you know, StockX is, has a lot of things to make sure that you're not getting scammed. There's a lot of scammers, I think, still on eBay. I know there's some protections. I also don't like quoting eBay prices because eBay, I believe, is like all the other social media platforms that what you see in your feed is an algo. It's not a random sample. And so what, you know, they, they show hot things, hot, and what you see is not a representative, whereas StockX is very, that is the most recent price. They will show you the most recent price. They'll show you the lowest bid. They'll show you the lowest ask. And that's something that eBay doesn't do when you're surfing around eBay. Um, so unless you do a study of like all the listings in eBay, it's really hard to know what the truth is of what's going on. Uh, so if you're in the UK, there's been a huge drought. Uh, and if you look at the stock X prices of, of UK plug versus US plug, consoles there's like a two hundred dollar difference right and i think that's because the shortage for the ps5 is so bad in the uk uh this at ps5 instant says he spoke to a manager uh at bt and that that's why he believes that they're going to drop uh, i think that's british telecom they're going to drop uh consoles there i don't think that will be open to u.s buyers though so here's the one scanner i saw right for the xbox series x that's not really promising number one that's not a very big number you know in the previous drop it was like 25 plus for the xbox series x uh and that's just six at target so you know maybe they're not getting a lot of um shipments at this point and then Uh, here's the Urban Outfitters bundle that somebody bought on, um, January 1st. And PlayStation India is going to go live, uh, with pre-orders on the 12th of January. And the 2nd of January will be the launch day for PlayStation India. So if you're one of the 1 billion Indians, uh, who would like to get a PlayStation 5, your chance is going to be uh, first with the pre-orders on the 12th, and they go through uh, the retailers. There's Amazon, Flipkart, Chroma, Reliance Digital, Games, the Shop at Center, and VJ Sales, and other authorized retail partners. Now, since there is, it since Amazon India is going to drop the pre-orders on the 12th, it's conceivable U.S. buyers could try to, to get a piece of those. Uh, I think it's going to be super competitive to get a PlayStation in India. Uh, so uh, good luck. <laughs> and I think that the, the, in, the price in India uh, at current exchange rates is a lot higher. I haven't checked that, but I suspect it will be. And, you know, I think there was this, this report uh that came out right and it was talking and i want to see if i can find it uh it was talking about how 
the, these are just all the crazy Icuracal bundles. It's better to buy from StockX than Icuracal. The, the scalping is less. Uh, the Oh, and we did have the Meyer walk-ins on the 31st and, and the 1st. People were securing by walking into Meyer grocery stores. Uh, a lot of the Fred Meyer stuff from earlier in the week, which is the grocery store in the Pacific Northwest, were canceled. So that's kind of not encouraging. Uh, Gamefly has confirmed they will sell more consoles, but they don't have any in stock at the moment. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you from the Digit Times. Uh, so Digit Times is, and I didn't, I didn't go through the paywall, so I just read the headline. Uh, but they're estimating that there were almost 17 to 18 million units will be produced. Uh, from the PS5 in 2021, and that is really terrible, right? There are 120 million PS4s sitting around uh, right now. And so that is like less than one-sixth, it's like one-seventh, one-eighth of the replacement of the PS4 would be 16, uh, 17 to 18 million. That's that's ridiculous. That's all, and they also estimate that there were only 3.4 million uh, PlayStation Fives produced in 2020 or sold in 2020, right? Uh, so that's way off Bloomberg's estimate, right? Bloomberg was saying in an article that they wanted to get as many as 15 million by 331-2021, but Bloomberg said they had to cut their estimates to 11 million by 2021. Well, 331-2021, first quarter of 2021. Uh, but, I mean, we'll see when, when, when we get to April and, and uh, Sony releases these results. But if they're not going to hit the 11 million target, that's really bad. And, and 3.4 million produced this year is not in line with hitting an 11 million uh, output target. It's much below that because, right, the PS5 pre-orders started on September 12th. So the for the all of the third quarter or fourth quarter of 2020, they were producing, right? Uh, because they had pre-orders then, right? Uh, for longer than that. And, you know, in terms of like actually being in stores, it's been in stores for almost three months now. I mean, two and a half months, right? Uh, so that, and they only produced three million, right? Uh, so that's, that's not great. I guess if we divide... Uh, 3.4 million uh, divided by 2.5, we get times 12. So we get about this 16 million per year number, right? And I, I guess that that's probably where um, Digit Times is coming from with this. Uh, but it's it's just it's it's really uh, disappointing, right? Uh, that and I think that that is not going to put an end to the shortage in 2021. So people ask me, when do I think it's going to be available in stores? And I was thinking maybe we would cut the shortage maybe by mid-year, right? Uh, but I don't think that there's any chance of that if we're only replacing, you know, one-seventh of the outstanding PS4s per year. Right? There's just no way to do that. So I'm Linus Wilson. Subscribe.